What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Bayou Bandit Fishing Adventures. Today, me and my good buddy Bree Bro, y'all seen him before. We out here at Mississippi Barrier Islands, y'all. Water temperature's right. Water temperature is uh, 76 degrees out here today, this morning, y'all. Uh, it's not even daylight yet. Day's trying to break. Got a little fog cover. Uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some speckled trout out here, y'all. Stay tuned. Also, guys, big congratulations to Matthew Humphreys from Munford, Alabama. He was the winner of the first fishing trip. I talked to Matthew on the phone the other day, and uh, he said in about <clears throat> about two to three weeks he'll be able to go fishing. So uh, looking very looking forward to that. That's going to be a great time, y'all. So uh, if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And like I said, every 100 subscribers, we're going to do a fishing trip. Uh, all you got to do to enter is just uh, subscribe and comment new subscriber down below. Thank y'all. Let's get to fishing. Fish on, baby. Fish on. I don't know. I I think so. If it's a trout, it's a gosh dang huge one. Red. Good red. On the OTKO. They love it. Good old red. All right, guys. Whoa, come back this way, old boy. Good, good keeper size red. We gonna try to boat flip him here. Probably regret it. Nope, there we go. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Had to have him some of that old TKO. Had to have him some of it. go guys let go of my hook boy I had him hooked good too boy right in the right in that top lip get the old pliers out now we know what was busting bait there we go Alright, let's get a measurement on that guy. Good solid 22 inch redfish, y'all. Good solid 22 inch red. Pretty redfish. And let me show y'all something, guys, y'all may not know. On these redfish. I'm gonna do it right here on the side of the boat where y'all can see good. Bleed these fish and they'll taste a whole lot better. Some people say, well, I don't like red fish. They taste strong. Take your finger, guys. Lift that fin up right there. There's a soft spot. Just stick, stick your finger in. All the way to the gills and pull it out. Flip him over and do the same thing. In and out. And that fish, look at all that blood, y'all. That fish will bleed out and he'll be a lot better tasting. He won't have that strong taste that a lot of people don't like with redfish. And just look at the blood coming out of him. It's unbelievable. That meat will be so pretty and white, y'all. And it'll taste a lot better. Like I said, normally I don't, don't do that on my boat, but I wanted to do that where y'all can actually see how much blood comes out of these fish. Quick and easy, do it one finger. All right, guys, let's get some more. 
some old fun shades. Yeah, it's about that time, ain't it? It's a lot safer with these treble hooks, too. Yeah, it really is. Why don't, why don't we do that? Go ahead and get our sunglasses out. And guys, if y'all are in the market for a uh, good tackle box that's got big, big compartments on each side, this is the Okeechobee Fats off of Amazon. Uh, I am an Amazon affiliate now, and if y'all look down below in the description, I have a link for this box and a bunch of other items I use on my boat. Uh, comes with eight big compartments. I've got this one thrown in there. It'll actually hold nine, but uh, eight big, large compartments. Put all your lures in. Uh, bag for your line, big pockets, got a place for your sunglasses, uh, pliers, scissors, everything else. It's a good box. I've had it, uh, had it about four years, and it's uh, it's been out in the sun, the rain, salt water. Uh, all the zippers still work good on it. No issues with any of those, and it's been in the environment. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I've got the link down below in the description. Check it out. It's been a good box. I think they run about 60 bucks, and it comes with the uh, the eight boxes in there, and uh, plenty of plenty of storage space, whatever whatever you need. Y'all check it out. Dude, I hadn't fished a day this calm, and I can't tell you when. There it is. That's a trout. I think that's a keeper trout. Trolling motor's off. Oh yeah, that's a keeper trout. I'm gonna flip him. Look at that trout, bro. bro. That is a good trout. Get him there and get you some of it. That's a good trout, y'all. That's uh. 17 inch trout. Give me the other side when you can. Huh? Bang, I'm putting my over here. Look there. Fellas. Fellas, the bite's on, son. The bite's on. That's a good trout, too. That's a good trout. Bring him in here. Boat flip, boat flip, baby. Alright. Alright, good deal. Alright, let's do that again, y'all. Broke my dag on rod. You broke your rod? Yeah. How'd you break your rod, man? What, you broke the tip off of it? Dude, dude, them trout. Them trout are busting all over. Hey, hey, pick that up. Pick that mirror dean up. Throw it. Throw that mirror dean. My God, dude, dude, he hammered it. I'm gonna have to get that off of that. I'm just gonna have to fish with a shorter pole. Get that. I got another one. I got another one rigged up right there. You just gotta put your. Uh, it's got a cork on it, and it's got a jig head on it. Huh? It's got a cork and a jig head on it. That other one. Use it. Uh, I got a curly tail mullet. Use it. 
dude. We on a good trout bite, y'all. 15 and a half in the box. Yeah, it's ready. Because that tide's coming in, guys. If y'all look and see, we got a squeeze point right there between those two points. And you think about it, tide's coming in. It's going to be pushing bait in. So I think that's where that school of trout's holding up. It's right at that bottleneck on this side of the bottleneck. All right, trout on, guys. I don't know if he'll keep or not. He felt pretty small. No, he will. He will not keep. But maybe we're getting back into the school a little bit here. That's an old male. He's croaking, talking to me. He swallowed that thing, though. Mm. There we go. All right, grow up, boy. Grow up. Yeah, he had it down a while. I was looking foggy. I looked back where I could see more open while I said, man, that fog's rolling back in. And I looked back freaking towards the end. No! That's a good red. No, I saw a shark. <laughs> it's a shark. We're going to let him go. <laughs> I don't want him. Hey, uh, you want to get the hook out of his mouth for me? No, I'm not. I got the back leg earlier, buddy. You can get that one. Well, we got an inshore slam, fella. Thank God. No, well, he, gosh dang. All right. He'll permanently have that TKO. There you go. He keeps. You think, you think he's keeper? He's staying down. Just flip him in, I got you. He's gonna be close. Yeah, he'll keep. Good trout. Get you another one. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh yeah. Boat flip him and I'll get now let me wind it on up and I'll go get him. Oh good solid. Good good solid man. Good solid trout, babe. Good solid. You're gonna have to fix your shrimp. Oh, 17, babe. If that's a trout, it's a stud, son. He hit like a red. That's a trout. He ain't that, he's a keeper, but I mean, he hit it like he was on a mission. I don't even know if he's a keeper. But I, that was the hardest. That was the hardest trout hit I've had today. I seriously don't think he's gonna keep. But man, he hit it like he was. Pure team fire out of it, dude. Oh, that's keeper there. That's keeper. Come on back down here. That's good. That's good trout. That's good trout, big bro. He ain't huge, but I think he'll keep. 
Cast any way you want to. Come back up here if you want to. I'm not, not even if there's a fire. <laughs> oh, God dang. You have hurt my feelings. Well, I know you ain't got no feelings. Yeah, well, if I did, they'd be hurt. 14 and 3 quarter, dude. I'm going to swap it up a little bit. Throw something I hadn't thrown all day. That little uh, pink jerk bait with the old skirt on it. Oh! First cast. That's a better fish, too. I mean, as soon as it hit the water, son, that in the keep right there. <laughs> All right. I wonder if I should throw that up. Sometimes it's good to swap up. I got that uh, spending quit bait deal. Well, Color. maybe wait and see if I'll catch another one on it and see if it was just a fluke or what the deal is. I ain't got no pink jerk baits, but I do have jerk baits. 16 inches. Box, and that was just as soon. I cranked uh You hooked up on that and drove the there immediately. Yeah. I just I had one crank on the reel. And that was all she wrote. Alright, Bree Bro's hooked up. He gonna be close, ain't he? That's a little red. Oh, that's a little red. Well, no, he's not going to be close. <laughs> fish on, fellas, fish on. It feels like he's going to be close. He may be a little short. No, I think he'll keep. He ain't gonna be close. He ain't gonna be close, fellas. Oh yeah, he's 16 inch. Out on, fellas. He he was a short one. I'm glad he let go. Save me the trouble. There he is. A little short. He about thirteen and a half, fourteen. Old male, you am croaking. Grow up just a little bit. Oh, that's the keeper there. All right, sure felt like it when he hit it. Good trout, good trout, good trout. Good trout. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 17, baby. 17 in the box. guys appreciate y'all watching we got eight keeper trout and a redfish 
<laughs> Me and old Bree Bro had a good time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Put out content like this all the time. Thank y'all. Bye. See y'all on the next one.